speaking of not so good people, Samuel Little Udat. has been declared the deadliest serial killer. Oh, I saw this in bullshit. U.S. history. I, when I saw that, I said, "Look at this." I said, "White people <laughs> really needed." They was tired of being the serial killer kings, so they had to find some nigga to claim to be the biggest serial killer of all time. He has confessed to 93 murders. And uh, I saw a 60 Minutes uh, special on him. He has this like weird photographic memory. He's actually described all of the actual murders along with pictures. He actually drew yeah, pictures. Yeah, well, he has art. Them. Which I'm sure will probably sell to some sick fuckers. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Uh, but he actually drew pictures, and they're actually piecing together these murders based on his description, and they've all been, like, actually panning out. Like, it's been matching up. Uh, I've never even heard of this guy. <laughs> I never heard of him either. I, I believe that he's a product of a white man's wet dream. <laughs> That's, that's where it came from. One night, a white man was dreaming, and he just was tired of the rap of in comedy. Damn specials. you, Timothy McVeigh. Yeah, and Ted Bundy. And Ted Bundy. And all of these motherfuckers. And they said, damn, how come there's not really no black serial killers? We need to come well, up with a the, black the, serial There was that killer. one freeway shooter. Remember that one guy? Yeah, my man. But that was, <laughs> that was a, a few. That was a few murders. This guy is like. count those on one hand. Right. This is 93, yo. And all women. Yeah. Mostly white women, I think. Like Prostitutes they, and so forth. A lot, a lot of them seem like, based on the pictures I saw, most were of them were white. that yeah. he felt were throwaways. Like, Didn't you know. have family. No one would have checked. Right. This was back in like the 60s and, and right. you know, before any sort of social media or cameras, you know, video cameras everywhere and so forth. He got away with a lot. And I guess at this point, he's already doing life in prison, so there's really no penalty for admitting to all these murders. They're not gonna, what, triple life? Okay, they're not gonna give the death penalty. But see, even, even with all the numbers that this guy might have, let's just say this is real, right? Mm -hmm. He still didn't, he wasn't eating them, right. wearing their faces. <laughs> you know, sick shit that a lot of white fucking killers would do. Having sex with them when they're dead and all that type of shit, like, Come on. Okay. Come on. <laughs> um, but listen, I, I'm a, if I keep it real, like, like we do be having serial killers in the hood. They just don't call them serial killers. Like, there's dudes that got bodies, they call like, them like well, multiple bodies. Well, let me tell you. Hold on. We're not saying who they are. I'm just saying. Well, like, I'll, I'll tell you who some of them are, because... <laughs> there's people that... But I'm, 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 I'm saying, like, in everybody hood... There's probably that one dude that niggas know that this nigga got at least six, seven bodies. Well, let me tell you, uh, Brian Glaze Gibbs. That sounds familiar. He was a gangster from uh, Queens. He was like the hitman for Fat Cat. Right. That's what I know. Yeah. We're gonna do an interview with him a couple days from now. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, I spoke to him. He he put out a documentary uh, on Amazon, which you can watch right now. Okay. And. In the documentary, he was talking about all these murders that he did. So I got on the phone with him just to kind of do a recap to see what it is we're going to talk about. And he shot this one woman, which he got acquitted for. And he pled guilty to five other murders and two attempts, which he ended up getting eight years and eight months for. Like a deal now, hang trying. on. Some people would ask, why would you want to interview him, Vlad? Why do you interview people like that, Vlad? Mm -hmm. Murderers and, six, and, and shit six, like that. Six murders that I can count so far that he's admitting to. I've been asked this question a lot, lots of times, before, lots of times. The reality is humans, not just Americans, humans in general, have always and will always be fascinated with the outlaw. Anyone who lives outside the system outside the laws that makes their own laws and do what the hell they want, regardless of the consequences, there will always be fascination with these types of people. Billy the Kid is still a name that's known by damn near everyone today. 
Right, but Billy the Kid, he was white. They, the, 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 the problem is they feel like you're a white guy shining the light on these black yeah. criminals. I've also interviewed Michael Frenzies, one the, the highest ranking member from the Italian mafia, who, uh, you know, who ended up leaving the mafia and so forth. Which I, which I almost thought was weird for your channel in a way. That's <laughs> like, okay. I, I was I've, like, what's this guy doing here? I, but I, I've interviewed uh, Boston George. The movie Blow was based on him, one of the biggest mm -hmm. drug mm -hmm. dealers in America during that time. I would more than happy to interview white gangsters and criminals all day long. I'm trying to get Sammy the Bull right now. Uh, we were trying to get um, uh, John, uh, Donnie Brasco. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I'm down to interview all types of gangsters of any color. You okay. know, white, white boy Rick, all these guys. Listen, I, don't, I don't just, I interview China Mac, who's a Chinese gangster. So, so get off this, oh, I'm only trying to shine, shine a light on, Listen, on, on black uh, criminals. I'm asking it's, it's, it's the ridiculous. questions that the yeah. people are asking. That's okay, and I'm That's answering, and I'm answering them. <laughs> like, but, 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 the, but the reality is, is that the foundation of Vlad TV is hip-hop. Right. And, and what, you know, what, what color is hip-hop? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And if we keep it real, what do a lot of people, what are the themes of hip-hop? See, I feel like... You cover a lot of the themes yeah. of hip hop, uh, of, of what a lot of people talk about in hip hop. Um, and being a gangster is definitely a theme that has always pretty much been there. All the yeah. way from Schoolie D to 2020. Yeah. Gangster rap to NWA to Ice T to Boogie Down Productions. Right. Their first album. You know, with Criminal Minded. Criminal Minded. <laughs> and this is, and this is, Someone who's considered a conscious rapper these days. Right. But then conscious rap is part of hip hop too. Exactly. Which is why. Yep. I'm fucking here. That's what it is. Let's go. <laughs>